Apple just released a new short film ad directed by Damien Chazelle, the Academy Award winning director of La La Land and Whiplash. I think this short film will be interesting to examine because as far as I know, it's the first time a major director like this has shot a project like this in a vertical format. Vertical format is actually very common these days. We see it all the time on TikTok or Instagram and Snapchat. So it will be interesting to see what someone who has more experience with cinematic composition does with the format. Action! This composition here is a great early example of how you can use vertical video in an interesting way. Giselle constructs scenarios where movement is going from top to bottom instead of left to right, and this allows him to use more of the frame. When we compose an image for film, if there's action, we often want empty space for the character or object that's moving to move into. So by using top to bottom movement instead of left to right, Giselle can utilize that negative space and have action moving into it. In this shot, the action is moving left to right, but he uses the negative space at the bottom in a visually interesting way. It emphasizes the height of the building that they're on. He's also creating a frame at the top that mimics a wider aspect ratio. One of the key things he did was selecting a scenario and a story that works well in vertical. This shot in vertical actually does a better job of emphasizing in the available composition space the action that's happening here. But here we get two shots that show ways in which vertical can be kind of awkward and not really that great. In this one, the action is moving across the vertical composition and his hand kind of punches out of the composition for a second. And in this shot, his eye is getting cut off. Pretty awkward and I don't think it really works. Throughout the short, we'll see Chazelle do this several times. He often uses frames within frames that mimic the vertical frame. This is an example of a shot that I really just think doesn't work in vertical. The way the eyes are cut off and the way it just feels like it squishes and constrains the face does not work for me. I'm not a fan. This section of the short is maybe the worst part. I don't think he's utilizing the vertical space as well as many of the others that we'll get to. Here again, he's trying to use vertical movement to emphasize the verticality, but he's not going all the way up here and there's nothing happening down here. So this would work better as a smaller boxier frame. This is another shot that I think is pretty awkward. Again, there's just nothing useful going on at the top and the way the man's face keeps poking out of the frame is awkward. This scene I think is where it most feels like Giselle is just trying to jam conventional images into a skinny format, and you can tell. This right here, on the other hand, is a really cool composition. The verticality of the space is being emphasized by the aspect ratio itself. In this shot, Chazelle again creates a frame within a frame that resembles a wider aspect ratio. And here he uses an interesting vertical frame within a frame to draw our attention inward, and we think less about the unused space at the top and the bottom because of that. This is pretty good right here. The format feels pretty claustrophobic and constricting, and so bringing in the sides even more is a great way to utilize that. I also love the little pinpoint of light at the top here and how things are just constraining into a little sliver. Here Chazelle references a scene from John Ford's The Searchers. In that film, John Ford is essentially creating a vertical composition within a more normal cinema frame using the door frame. So Ford, when he does it, is changing the aspect ratio. When Chazelle does it here, it's not changing the aspect ratio, but complementing it. This section right here, I think does the best job of showing us what vertical video can do. A shot like this is just a really great composition using the available space. Isolating things like a single leg, using layers of action like this, this overhead shot to show distance, 
when Chazelle pushes things a little bit stylistically outside the realm of what you'd normally do with a conventional film, he's able to utilize the space a little bit more effectively. These shots right here, like isolating the hilt of the gun and creating smaller frames within this frame and the shadow, it's, it's great, I love this. Vertical video works really well for this kind of composition, a full body shot. Compare that to the awkwardness of the people sitting down in the car. If vertical video is something that gets used a lot more for narrative production, it'll be interesting to see how people come up with ways to handle people just sitting and talking. This is a much better version of a close-up. It's a little bit further back and it doesn't constrain the eyes so much, but I still don't think it feels great. Maybe it's because I'm just not used to this format, but obviously this kind of shot is not the strong suit of vertical video. This kind of shot, on the other hand, is. Here we get a great shot where it isolates an eye and half the face. This to me almost feels better than a shot that just isolates an eye within a larger cinema frame. One of the weird things about composition is that sometimes they look better when the shape of the object you're emphasizing matches the shape of the frame, and sometimes it looks better when it's contrasted. Here I think the perpendicular nature of the shape of the eye against the vertical nature of the frame actually works really well. Great shot here, emphasizing the vertical movement of the sweat. The super close up of the eye, on the other hand, I'm not sure if that completely works. This shot though is great by falling backwards with him. Chazelle here is essentially taking what would be a great composition for a normal widescreen aspect ratio and using it in a vertical aspect ratio. These are great uses of the vertical frame. This right here is also brilliant. This is a great use of negative space. By anchoring things to the bottom instead of just centering the information in the middle, the dead space feels more like an intentional compositional choice. One of the things Chazelle is doing is using props that specifically fit the frame. Obviously this car or this specific mirror was chosen because of its verticality. It's an unusual car mirror, but it works really well because of this frame. This shot here is pretty cool, but I think potentially more could be done with it. It feels like the plane could maybe be higher up, utilizing more of the negative space, but because the action is anchored to the bottom, I don't mind the negative space at the top so much. And ultimately, the way the plane moves into the negative space at the top is pretty satisfying. There's a little piece of set design that's pretty interesting. Normally in this kind of thing, you might not have such tall ceilings with a bunch of notes up at the top, but that's a great set design choice to give it more visual interest. Again here, Chazelle chooses a prop that fits well with the format. Because the theme is vertical cinema, I think Chazelle is probably emphasizing the frame with his compositions maybe a little bit more than would be necessary if you were just trying to do something in a vertical format narratively. He does use it well in a lot of instances, but I think this short also showcases some of the shortcomings of vertical video and how awkward some things that feel fine in a wider aspect ratio feel when you slim it down. Of course, some of this is probably just what we're used to as audiences versus what feels unnatural, but that's something for a long time. Anyone who wants to try to do narrative work with vertical video is going to have to take into account. It's going to take a while for audiences to adjust to this kind of content if it's something that's used more frequently. That said, the case study for watching this kind of thing is on your phone, not on a screen. So there's a whole layer of considerations that you have to take into account there, even aside from the aspect ratio. The intimacy of holding the frame and the proximity to your face is going to affect the way you want to compose images as much as the aspect ratio will. I think this kind of stuff will be more common in the future. Quibi, the laughable failure of a streaming service, had content that was available to be watched in both vertical and landscape modes on your phone. And while Quibi's content was terrible for a lot of reasons, other than that, watching it vertically wasn't that bad of an experience, and I could see creators like Netflix potentially trying to do things like that in the future. 
Of course, composing both for widescreen and vertical is a whole mess on its own, so that's kind of an entirely different thing. Let me know in the comments what you think. Do you think Chazelle used it well or poorly? What do you think works and what do you think doesn't work? This video doesn't have any sponsors, so if you enjoy my content, you can help support my channel and get access to bonus videos by going to patreon.com slash thomasflight, or you can go to thomasflight.com slash merch to check out the merch I have available if you want to rep and support the channel at the same time. Thanks for watching, hit that bell and subscribe, and I'll have a more traditional video essay coming for you soon.